Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to share this thing. Okay. Yung question ko kanina po. Okay. Yung question ko kanina again. We are now on on uh, recording. Okay. So yung question ko kanina. How are we going to twist the steps? The host will let you. Okay, so let's start. Um, here, okay, what if we're going to display in this example, we are going to display the sum of the grades before we display the, the average. Okay, ano gagawin natin? Yung sagot nyo kanina. So, compute for the average of five numbers. Compute for, compute three, for the sum of natin? the five subjects. Very good. Compute for the sum of the five, five subjects. Okay, good. So, compute for the sum of and the average. Five compute for the sum and average of I saw it now. Compute for the sum and average of the five numbers. Compute for the sum and average of the five numbers. Now, ano gagawin natin? For step number... For step Four. number three, ano gagawin natin? Step number three. For step number three, ano gagawin natin? Nakalibong na. Nakalibong na. Hilingon niya yun eh. Okay. Take a look at this one. What I did was get the sum. Okay. What I did was get the sum. And after getting the sum, after getting the sum, nag-divide by 5. Divide by 5. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin dito, so this is the sum. Okay, we have another variable. Okay, and tanggalin natin to. Pakecheck ka kung tama yung ginagawa ni Mom. Tama mali. We're going to get the sum. Unmute man. O Rian, pwede ko mupo ka. Masyado kang relax dyan. Nakahiga ka. Gupanong ka, na-rebook mo. So here, ano gagawin natin dito? Anyone? Naka-record ka pa naman. Higa-higa ka dyan. Okay. Ano gagawin natin dito? After getting the sum, ano gagawin natin? Average? Average. Oh, average equals to? Total. Divide by. Total. Ano yung ano natin? Ano yung sum. ano natin? Sum. Very good. Sum over five. Ano, big letter S or big small letter S? Big letter. Small, small or big? <laughs> big. Big? Kasi ito siya. Oh, ito. Nakikita niyo to? Big letter S. Sum okay. divide. Five. Huh? Ngayon kasi, pinapractice na natin as we go along with flow charting and coding. Now pa lang, mag strict na tayo in observing. Okay? So, sum... Anong spelling doon sa taas? Yun din ang spelling sa baba. Because we are using the same variable name. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Ano natin? Divided by? Five. 
divided by 5. Okay. Now, ano gagawin ko dito sa step 4? Ano gagawin natin dito? Santa Ana? Print ano some ano? average. Are you answering Santa Ana? Print the average. Print the average. Print in the sum. Sum average. Okay. Print the sum. The average. Print the sum. As you can see po, print sum. Tama. Okay na? So, yes. Ano po yung nakalagay dito na uh, na orientation or format po ng uh, ng variable, yun na din ang gagamitin natin. Kasi the value is being passed. <laughs> ha? So as you can see here, ito yun siya. Si, si average naman, ito siya. Si average naman, ito siya. So, it, is this clear, guys? Yes, ma'am. Claro. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, so, ma'am. Okay, good. So, another one, we are going to compute for, okay, ulitin natin, ano? So, this one, I hope na nakasabot na kamu po. Ha? I, I hope na magaling ng konti si ma'am mag, mag, ano, mag-explain. Kasi kung hindi, magre-retire na si ma'am. <laughs> okay. Okay, so another one. Let's resolve your seat work number. Seat work? Two. Number. I think you might buy. Number two. Quiz number two. I quiz number one. Quiz one. Yeah. Quiz one, yes. Yes. So, hindi ko ba ata na-checkan? Hindi pa po. Okay, hindi ka pa na-checkan. Okay, so let's have another... Example. Okay. So, halimbawa. Um, problem. Ito yung problem. Problem. Um, compute. Write an algorithm. Write an algorithm. Or steps sa algorithm. Steps. Algorithm. That will display and compute for the who uh, anong tawag nito the um, display and compute for the dollar to peso Okay, I'm just reading here a message from Vilmar. Okay. So, dollar to peso. Dollar to peso. Okay. So, halimbawa yung... Um, wait lang. Sabag yung pahin sa gusto. Write an algorithm... <laughs> Write an algorithm that will display and compute for the for the uh, dollar to peso exchange rate. Okay. Say, say the amount. Say the current value. Say the current, uh, say the current exchange rate. Okay, sino yung maingay na yan? Later na po mag-grocery. Sorry po, sorry ma'am, sorry. Say the current exchange rate for dollar is 45. Magkano ba ngayon? Okay, maingay po, maingay po. Parang nasa klase tayo ah. Peso... Uh, Mama, let's put spelling in dollar, mom. Dollar. 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 Dollar.
Um, this one. So the the exchange rate right now is forty nine point ninety one. Okay, forty nine point ninety one to peso. So gamitin natin is forty nine point ninety one. Okay. Okay. So eto na. Here we go. <coughs> So, ano na iniisip yung computation dito? Ano input natin? Ano? Okay. So, gawa na natin ng solusyon ha. Let's collaborate para mabilis po. Let's collaborate. Okay? So, kla klaro na po yes. ba guys yung variable naming? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Okay, so, algorithm. Again, let's start with step number one. Step number one natin, children. Children. Start. Step number one. Start. 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 Okay, so, tama na to. Correct na to. Okay, step number two. Input the value of dollar. Dollar to dollar ba talaga? Input the value of peso. Input the value of exchange. Okay. Input... The value of peso. Tapos, paano natin gagamit yun siya? Input the value of peso. Okay? Pwede tayo dito mag-initiate. Pwede tayo dito mag-initiate. Like, then, initialize the value of the ba we are defining here we are defining here what is input and we are defining here the variables okay input the value of peso then initialize the value of dollar 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 amounting forty nine peso forty nine point ninety one peso Okay, now in step number three, ano pong gagawin natin, guys? Ano pong gagawin natin, children? Bilisan po, maubos ng oras natin. Alisa Machenso. Define the value of dollar. Sino yan? Sino yung nagsasalita? Kindly... Say your name. Rian, ma'am. Rian. Okay. Rian po, ma'am. Last name, Rian. Rian, last name po. La last name, Rian. I'm noting here your recitation, ha? So, yung kaninang nakahiga, sino yun? Si Rian. Si Rian yung nakahiga? Okay, good. Apa. Okay, so here... Um, input the value of peso, then initialize the value of dollar. Bakit tayo mag initialize We will be initializing kasi meron pong binibigay na value si problem. Okay, may binibigay na value si problem in which given siya. Nasabutan po? Naintindihan? Given siya, Okay. So now, in step number three, we are now done here. So meaning to say, our step number two is correct. Step number three, are we got, what are we going to do? Compute. Compute. For? Yes. For the current exchange rate. For the exchange rate. Exchange rate of dollar, dollar to peso. To peso. 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 Okay. Peso. Peso using the equation. It's up to you on how are you going to, to okay. write it. Okay. Uh, what is our now, what is our formula now? Pwede ba tayo maglagay dito ng doll? Peso. No. Is equals to? Our variable name is dal test. Okay? Si Ria nawala. Okay? So, what is our formula? 
Bar your butt. Ano pong gagamitin natin? One dollar equals to forty-nine. Ito, let's 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 just assume that one say the current exchange of one dollar. Kung po yah, one dollar. Lalagay kita is okay. So ano gawin natin? Formula tayo guys. Formula. No pay to tao. No. Oh. Tapos, hindi yun ang sasalita para ma-recognize ko po. Pakimute po yung may kapitbahay na maingay. Okay, ano nga gawin natin? Hey guys, help me out. Compute. Ano gagawin na natin? Di ba, usually ang ginagawa natin. Ano nila? Dollar times peso, ma'am. Define how... USD equals to peso. Here's dollar equals to peso. Peso times dollar. Okay. So, anong spelling ng peso na variable natin? P. Big letter P, small letter P. Big letter P. Big letter P. Letter P na lang ma. Letter P sa dyan. Pwede naman P. Pero tingnan nyo to, nag-ganito ako. Big letter P mo. Okay, so, we have here. Peso. Okay. Hindi ba yung peso mark? Tapos, kung gusto yung peso, di peso, pero kailangan yung palitan yung E ng I. Bawal dos. O, ano na? Yung peso mark, ma'am. Peso. I think, hindi tayo maglalagay, magagamit man. Text tayo. Kasi yung symbols, iniiwasan natin yan yung gamitin, lalo na pag nag-code. It might cost us an error. Okay, so let's just go with the spelling itself. The spelling itself. Kumusta Angelo? Kumusta po? Parang kunut na kunut ang mga kilay natin saan. Makadin at lay na ka connect. Angelo, ikaro, how are you there? Nangayat na si Angelo. Nangayat ka na daw. Nabulo ka nila. Joke lang. Okay, let's continue. Sorry, ma'am. Let's continue. Hindi ako magaling sa math. Hindi ka magaling. Gagaling ka sa math, Les. Gagaling ka sa math. Kasi wala kang choice. Ang pinasok nyo is IS. Okay? At least logical thinking magaling ka rin. Okay? When we are talking about computer, we are talking about here. Computer is compute. Okay? Okay? So let's go back here. Dollar. What is our formula? Peso times dollar. Peso is equal to dollar. I want dollar equal to one peso times dollar. Hindi na tayo kaya naman magwan peso. Why? Wait lang ha. Okay. Example ha. Ilalagay ko lang dito yung example ha. Yung example. The value of peso is tama ba ang mga pinagsasalim? The value of peso is equal to 49.91 Halimbawa, yung pera na ko is 500. Ha, this is my peso. My peso is 500. 500 peso times 49.91. My 500 pesos divided by 49.91. Sino yan? Sino yan? Very good. Divided by. Sino yan? 3 yan. 3 yan pa din? 
Yes, ma'am. Very good naman, Tiria. Okay, so ibig sabihin, Marina. Okay, Marina. So we are going here to peso divided by... 49.91 pesos. Divided by 49.91 pesos. Okay, so maliit tayo dito. Hindi di divide natin siya. Okay? So ano yung result ng computation? 500... 500 minus divided by 49.91 is 10. 10 dollars. something. Wait lang ha. Wait lang po. 10. Okay? So ang result is 10.10 10 point, 10 10 point, point something. 0 to. Sabihin natin 0 to. Okay? Nasundan? Nasasabutan po? Naiintindihan? Yes, ma'am. Okay, example yes, number number one to, example number two. Ito yung sinasabi ko ha. What if yung pera ko is 50 pesos? 50 ko is Ang 50 ko si peso at ito si dollar. Hmm? Anong sagot? 50 divided by 49.91 is 1.15 times 1.29.91 Baka tayo magta-times 1.0 to 1.0 to May walang Ay, 1. 1.0 to 0 0 to or most likely lock or roughly okay nagiget niyo ba yung idea baka yes. hindi kayo maglagay hindi kayo pwede maglagay ng constant na value dito kay kay peso kasi po anytime it could be changed anytime po pwede siyang palitan ni sir hindi po tayo constant diyan nasabutan na po Lang ha. Wait lang po. Hmm. From 500 naging 50. Hindi tayo pwede mag-constant. So, ang pwede po tayo mag-constant sa value ng dollar. Anong purpose bakit tayo nag-initialize ng 49.91? Para po hindi tayo hindi tayo from time to time mag-i-input ng value ng dollar. Example, ito yan. Ha? Um, peso. Peso. Okay. So, exchange rate. Example ito ha. So, dito sa exchange rate, ang formula dito is the value in peso, nasusundan ba? The value in peso divided by 49.91. As you can see, constant to 49.91. Para siyang ito. Ha? Para siyang ito na part. Okay? Kung maglalagay ako dito ng 500, po, what is that? Kung maglalagay po ako dito ng 500, sorry, if I put here 500, okay, it provides us the value of 10.018. Nakikita ba? Nasusundan po ba? Nasusundan po ba, Cabrera? Nasusundan po ba? Okay. Now, if we put here the value of 50, ang kinukuha niya lang po na input is the peso. Now, hindi na tayo kailangan maglagay ng value for, for the dollar. Kasi ang kailangan na natin complete is yung peso. Nakukuha. Nakukuha ba yung example ni ma'am? Na ito. Nakukuha po. Meaning to say... Kaalala nyo sa application form, 
or sa sa form online. Ito lang diyan dito lang tayo naglalagay ng value. Example. Example this one. Um Ito oh. As you can see, ito yung pinapakita ko sa inyo. Okay? If we put here if we, ang naka-declare is 49.91. Ito kasi other way around. Yung yung dollar kinompute niya to peso. Okay? Nasasabutan na susundan ko ba? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ito, eh, example na to, baliktad ko ha sa binibigay kong example. Okay, clear ko, i-clear ko lang ha. So halimbawa, I put here $100, automatic siya ga compute for peso. Meaning to say, if your Joa sent you $100, ha, example lang ha. If your family member from abroad sent you $100, meaning to say yung pera into peso is 4,991.3. Nakikita ba ang screen ni Ma'am? Nakikita po ba ang screen ni Ma'am? Okay. Halimbawa, no? If someone um, gives you $2, it provides us the computation of 99.83. Now, now, okay, as you can see here, ang input lang natin, yung required input. Nasabutan ang, ang, ang logic na yun eh. Nasabutan ba ang logic na to? Tell me, be honest, do you understand? Guys? Hello? Hindi po, ma'am na. Hindi ko po masyado, ma'am na. Sino yan? Sino nagsasalita? Ariyan po, ma'am. Hindi ko po yeah. masyado na. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> wait lang, medyo mainit. I-on ko lang. Okay. Okay. Di ba halimbawa, meron kang two dollars, okay? Bigyan lang bang kausap ko? Sino yung iba? Nasasabutan ba ako? Nasa yung iba? Kindly turn on your uh, microphone. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, turn on your microphone po para nakikita nyo tong screen ko. Itong part na to, nakikita nyo? Yes, ma'am. Yung example ko na to is the other way around. Okay? Pwede ko tong ibigay na quiz. Another quiz. Okay? So, ito, halimbawa, pinadalhan ka ng mommy mo, which your mom is in US or outside the Philippines, nagpadala ng $10. Magkano yung $10? 10 times? 49. 49.9. So, yung pera mo is 499.13. Nasabutan po ba yan? Naintindihan? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ang point ko dito, this is step number two. Start. Remember the start? Yung stream mo. Ha? Yung bayro ng stream. So, dati lang, ma'am. So, may 50 pesos. Oh, really? Saglit, saglit, ha? Yung may dilaw po, ma'am. Yung Excel yung nakikita nyo? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, sorry. Yes, ma'am. Ayan, ma'am pala. Ha, wait lang. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait lang, ha? Kaya pala hindi kayo nagre-react. Good na you're honest. Okay. Um, stop sharing. Stop sharing. Okay. Share screen. Ang oh, sinishare ko kasi buong screen. Tapat window. Screen. Ah, screen lang siya. Here. Okay. Nakikita niyo? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yung yes. example na pinakita ko kanina na hinanap kong value is 49.91. Okay. Ito, this is step number two. The first one is start. The step one is input the value. Okay. Ito, as you can see, here we cannot input the value. So ito yung result ng computation natin. Okay, so here, halimbawa, someone from your family outside the Philippines 
sent you a a dollar. Okay? So, siyempre, kailangan natin yun i-convert into peso. Okay? So, so someone sent you five dollars. Christmas gift. Okay? Now, how much is five dollars? $5. Ito yung input. Bakit hindi sumusunod ang aking screen? $50. US. United States dollar. Ayaw niya. Magkano ba pag 50? One. Oh, yan. Nasi-sync na. Kung somebody sent you five dollars, magkano? Five. Christmas gift, di ba? Somebody yeah. sent you five uh, five dollars for Christmas gift. So, ang value na binigay sa sa'yo in Philippine peso is 249.64. Okay ha. Stop sharing ko na muna ha. Okay, balikan natin yung aking... Yung aking, eto, balikan natin nasabutan nyo na ba eto bakit ako nag-declare ng amount ng value 49.91 kasi hindi ako every now and then maglalagay ng value ng 49.91 because that would cause, cause us an error type of error now ang hinihingi lang natin from the user is the amount of peso. Same example na pinapakita ko kanina. So halimbawa, yung peso ko, ang pera ko is magpapadala ako outside from the Philippines going outside. Okay? So halimbawa, yung peso ko, ang pera ko is 1,000 pesos. Magkano kaya yun in dollars? 20 dollars. Okay? Do you get this one? This concept? This is step yeah. number two. Binaliktad ko ha? Binaliktad ko yung example. Now, we are going in step number four. Uh, ito yung pinapakita ko ha? Na either way, ang mag-change ng value po, ang mag-change po ng value, yung input lang. Ha? So here, in step number four po, in step number four, anong lalagay natin? Print the peso. Print? Dol peso. I think the peso. Yes. Print. Okay. Then? Dollar Dollar and peso. Dollar peso. Nasa butan? Dollar peso. Yes. Clear. So, same thing goes with the pie. Okay? Kung hindi nyo pa na gagawang tama yung pie, meron pa po kayong chance na ulitin yung pie. Now, do you get the value? Now, nasa butan nyo po ba? Nas Naiintindihan nyo po ba yung initialization? Ito yung initialization. Now, anong gagawin natin dyan kung pi? Pi has a value of 3.1416. Anong gagawin natin? Hmm. Okay? Nasabutan nyo na ba kung paano gawing perfect yung quiz? Okay, so shall we move on? Shall we move on? Um, children, our class every uh, Tuesday is from 9, 9.30, uh, up to 9.30. Can we extend up to 10.30 today? Kasi Tuesday, Friday hanggang 9.30, Tuesday and Thursday is until 10.30. Can we extend po? Can we extend po? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone, so that we could move the shoe code. Guys. Can we extend? Wala naman kayong classing next eh. Kasi ako pa din to eh. Kasi Tuesday, two hours. Uh, Thursday, a uh, Tuesday, two hours. And Friday is three hours. Every week po, we have five hours per week meeting. Okay lang, ma'am? Okay lang. Wala kayong choice, okay? Kesa maghahabol tayo, okay? 
Okay, okay so, kung may tanong pa po, pwede maghapot. Free po, maghapot. I'm going to shift now my presentation with Shudeko. Lagi nawawala si Rian. Okay, Shudeko. Okay, should I code? Kita niyo po ba yung screen ni ma'am? Hindi po, ma'am. Hindi po, ma'am. Hindi po. Yan, very good. But, okay. Stop sharing. My screen would be share. Okay na yan? Anong nasa screen po ni ma'am? Should I code? Should I code? Okay. What is a shoddy code? Now, children online, with the, using the messenger, I am now um like uh less uh, I am now um uh, on topic shoddy code. So kindly use or get your module, then follow ko ano pinagsasabi ni mom. Okay. So the recording will just be back up again. The YouTube would be. Your backup for those who cannot be able to to attend online classes. Okay, so let's start. Nako, ang hello. Kumusta na? Ang problema do kano yan? Ang hello. Kumusta po? Eh, na mam. Di na namaman siya. Oh, oh, ay stick na mam. Nagarik mam. So, okay. Clear ba mag-explain si ma'am o malabo pa hanggang ngayon? Okay. Shall we continue with the code? Okay. What is the code? Cyrus Sarmiento. The code is simply an, an implementation of a logarithm in the form of annotation and informati informative text in written in plain English. It has no syntax like any the programming language and thus can't be comp compiled or interpreted by the computer. Cannot be compiled and interpreted by a computer. Ma'am, ano po ba yung difference ng pseudocode sa algorithm? As you can see, yung algorithm po natin, meron po siyang konting formula. Okay? But with pseudocode po, pseudocode is informative text written in plain English. Meaning to say, this one are para din siyang steps, pero lahat po is written in, the text is written in, in plain English text. Okay? Text itself. Text. The word text. Okay? Oh, here. The word text. Plain English. Okay? So, this cannot be compiled. Ang pwede po natin makompiled yung mga code natin. Okay? So, this is only for the Purposely for the study code is purposely for the human for reading. Si code naman po, pag sinabi natin si code, ito naman si code para po 